on to beer number three. Uh, we are going to try Blind Man's Kettle Sour number one with Galaxy and Mosaic Hops. So what can you tell us about this particular beer? So this beer is uh, like a very unique edgy style beer in the sense that uh, in the Alberta market there's not that many sour beers out there right now and it's not a mainstay. Uh, in, in the States there's dedicated breweries to sour beer. Sour beer. Um, but yeah, we're kind of in our infancy with that. So we thought a kettle sour would be a really cool, uh, we, we, like, we like them too. Like, we think it'd be a cool release to the market, but also we, we like them too. So um, this is a kettle sour series. So what happens is the beer, the wort is soured in the kettle with uh, lactobacillus uh, for a, a, a period of time and the, drop, the pH drops to the desired uh, acidity. And then once it reaches that acidity, it usually takes about 18 to 20 hours. Um, then we boil the we boil it in the kettle, kill all the lacto, and then go on with the regular boiling, uh, regular brewing procedures and fermenting procedures. Um, so it's basically a tart beer. Uh, it's a sour beer. It's an acidic beer. And uh, for it's a very light malt bill for for the base and. Um, and we dry hop it heavily and with it creates a balance and, and a kind of a citrus tropical uh, on the nose as well as, as on the flavor. Um, we have a series, so it's a kettle sour number one, uh, but we've all we've done six renditions on this series. We both went all the way up to number six. And this is excuse me, this is back to number one. So uh, this kind of the reason we do that is is various. We we are like which one do we like and which ones do we have hops for and 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 that kind of thing. So cool. yeah, it lets us kind of experiment and then also our customers experiment with new new things. In yeah. The world. So if there was the best time to drink this beer, what would you say? Ooh, good question. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> but perfect answer. But uh, a lot of people when they have a, a a pint of it or a sip of it, they're like. That is a summer beer on the patio, and it's very and refreshing. It's very refreshing. It's similar to a white wine lemonade, so it's it's really easy to drink. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're doing we're we're test we're doing some prototypes on some new ones coming into the summer, like a lemon lime sour, which we actually have on tap as a as a one off keg, yeah. which is extremely crushable. So yeah. So let's go ahead and try this not in the summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers. So on the nose, yeah, you get you get that galaxy and mosaic on the nose, and um, yeah, you just get that sour. You definitely get the white wine finish. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. It's puckeringly sour, and. Uh, as far as sour, sours go, it's not like crazy sour. Yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of an entry level. Yeah, sour. Okay. yeah. There's a there's a whole spectrum which uh, which you you're aware of um, that is just there's a whole realm of yeah. what you can do. And this is a, a basic <laughs> yeah. um, a basic uh, basic sour for sure. Well, it's, we think it's better. Than, this is a a. a the dry hop aspect of it is just it, it just creates it gives it great character and, and uh, yeah the, this one is uh, in the Canadian Brewing Awards it won a silver medal uh, like a month into releasing it so it's it really cool. That's awesome yeah well this is a beer to be proud of um, <clears throat> you have a brewery to be proud of uh, thank you for having us today it's been awesome there's lots to see the beer is amazing um, we're going to hand this off now to the beer maiden and she's going to try the same beers and get her feelings on these beers. Um, from home. Thank you very much for this magazine. Bye.